Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my monthly grocery shopping haul. This month I didn't need very many um, items here, so I decided to stop in at my local grocery outlet. Um, our grocery outlet opened here in our town about a month and a half ago, and I have really enjoyed having another option in my small town for grocery shopping. They have some really wonderful bargains at the grocery outlet here, so I decided to see what bargains they had this month and just pick up some of the other things that I was uh, needing for groceries. Last time people were very interested in the prices that I paid because this is a discount uh, grocery store so I thought I would go ahead and share those as well as I go along. So the first thing I'll share with you are some of the frozen foods I got. This uh, is a brand of pierogies that I have not tried before but my whole family absolutely loves pierogies so I thought I would serve these for a family dinner night dinner so I got a bunch of them. They were on sale for um, $2.29 each. So I got four bags of the potato and cheddar and then one bag of the garlic and herb. So that was pretty good at $2.29. They're really pretty good sized bags here. And I picked up some frozen chicken to have on hand for uh, quick lunches if my grandson stops by. So I got the crispy uh, Foster Farms crispy strips and the just regular chicken nuggets. And the chicken strips were $5.79 and the chicken nuggets were $4.99. I also picked up some of these taquitos and those were also $4.99. I got a little pizza here. My husband was interested to try this pizza out just for a quick lunch. It was $1.99. And then these broccoli fries, which um, are pretty good. We've had these before, uh, were on sale for $0.99. Cents. So then we picked up some produce here. And we picked up some bananas. Those were $1.07. I got some shredded iceberg lettuce for um, sandwich wraps and some regular iceberg garden salad. The shreds were $1.89 and the salad was $1.29. I think that this is a bigger bag than the one I normally get for a little bit cheaper at my local Safeway. I go through a lot of shreds, we make a lot of tacos, and I make a lot of wraps and things like that. So I pick this up pretty regularly. I was happy to find it there though. And then we found some more of our absolutely favorite grapes, cotton candy grapes. I was super happy to see that they were still in stock. And these were not a good bargain. Oh my goodness, I just looked at my receipt. I was not paying attention. These were $14.02. That doesn't even sound quite right for such a small bag of grapes. Um, but that's what it says it is. Uh, they are very delicious grapes, but I don't know that I would have paid um, $14 had I known that. But that is why you have to keep track. And I did not keep track on that. I just assumed they'd be around $6 or so. So that's one of those mistakes that makes the grocery uh, bill be a little bit higher. And then we have some matchstick um, carrots. I love these to put in soups. This week I'm going to be cooking up some pinto beans and um, I'm gonna add them to that. The shredded carrots were $1.79 and this is organic celery here and that was $1.99. It will be good to keep track on things like that. Of course, I was picking up my basics like celery and carrots just because I was at that store, but it does seem a little bit more than I often spend in other grocery stores, so I'll have to keep my eye on that. And then I got a bag of potatoes here. They're $3.99, and a bag of sweet potatoes. That was also $3.99. So that's what I got for um, the first part of October's meals. I will, of course, pop in and get more um, produce as the month goes on. Then I picked up some deli and meat items. I love this raspberry parfait. It looks like this, sort of a pre-made jello. I like to set this out at family dinners sometimes just as a sort of a light um, side dish, a little bit like a dessert, but also just like a little refreshing side dish. And that was $2.49. I got a thing of refrigerated mashed potatoes for a quick and easy side dish for tonight's dinner, and that was $2.99. I did splurge on the deli sliced pastrami. It looked really delicious. I thought that this week my wraps would be pastrami wraps, and so I uh, thought I'd pick that up for lunch meats. And that was $6.29, um, but it looks really delicious. And then I got some Havarti cheese for $2.99 and some Swiss cheese 
also for $2.99. And then for meats, I'm pretty well stocked on meats, but I always like to get a couple of uh, fresh ones for the week. So um, I picked up some salmon. We had salmon there last time. It was absolutely delicious. I just baked it in a lemon herb butter uh, sauce, and it was really delicious and very easy to cook up. That was $8.99. Then we got two of the uh, beef New York sirloin steaks, and that will be tonight's dinner, and those were $7.99. Then I picked up a pack of ham hocks for my pinto beans tomorrow, and that was $3.90. And I picked up a little half ham here, actually it looks like a quarter of a ham, and that was only $2.82, which I thought was a really good deal. It's pre-sliced. We will definitely turn that into a couple of meals. We also picked up this brioche sliced bread for $3.99. I think it'll make absolutely delicious French toast. And again, since I did a huge stock up recently with my big fall pantry stock up, we didn't need many things for the pantry. We needed some more A1. We keep leaving this out or <laughs> the last time before I had to replace it because it fell out of the fridge and broke. So we're just having a hard time keeping our A1 steak sauce in stock here. So I picked up another one and that was $3.99. We go through a lot of malt vinegar. We love it for our fish. And that was only 99 cents for that bottle. So I thought that was a good deal. My husband spotted this. It's an artichoke bruschetta um, spread here, which looks absolutely delicious. We'll have to have that for appetizers one evening. And that was $2.99. I was really happy to find these Nature Bakery um, bars here. I'd never tried them before. I'm usually pretty um, leery about bars and things because of my tree nut allergy and sesame allergy. So I have to avoid a lot of them. And these are made in a dedicated uh, peanut and tree nut free factory. So I was excited to try those out. They were 49 cents each. So I got two of the double chocolate brownie, a blueberry and a raspberry fig bar. I also picked up some raspberry donuts. I've been in stores a couple times recently and I keep passing them up and they keep sounding really good later with uh, morning coffee. So I picked up a box of the raspberry donuts and those were $2.79. We picked up a treat for the dogs here. That was on sale for 99 cents, which I thought was a great deal. And I know the dogs will really appreciate that. I got two boxes of the cilantro lime uh, rice aroni rice. We really enjoy that as a quick side dish. That'd actually be really nice with the salmon or on the side of a pinto bean um, recipe with maybe some chips and things like that. So just to have on hand, they were 99 cents each, which I thought was a great deal. The tuna helper was also on sale for 99 cents. So I picked up two of the uh, tuna cheesy pasta um, boxes just for a super quick fix night. I have a lot of tuna in stock that I want to start working through So I thought that'd be great for that. We also picked up some Quaker oatmeal that was on sale Blueberries and cream and peaches and cream and those were on sale for $1.99 each. Then we got a few bags of chips here I got the granny goose chips. I love granny goose chips. They are absolutely wonderful. I haven't seen them in a while um, a while back they stopped making them in our uh, local store where I used to pick them up So I was really happy to see that uh, we have those so I'll have to set those aside until we're having chips and dip with the family And those were $3.99, but it is a very big bag and I picked up some more of the pop chips corn chips I bought those last time and I ended up really loving them. They were a dollar ninety nine and then I also got these wagon wheel shaped um I think it's uh, chicharrones. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I do know that they're really tasty. And so I picked up a bag of those as well. And those were $1.29. I picked up some more of the Pizzelles. This time I thought I would try the apple cinnamon flavor. They're really uh, delicious. The regular ones we got last time were really uh, yummy. So I hope these are good too. The Pizzelles were $1.99. And then for drinks, I picked up two uh, different drinks here. This one I got last time is apple soda and it is so good. Um, so I picked up two more little bottles of that for $1.29 each. And then I spotted the San Pellegrino Orenciata Rosa. This is our favorite, it's like a blood orange. Um, flavored. It is a sparkling juice and a sparkling water mix and we all really enjoy this. So I picked up four of those and they were $2.99 a box which is actually a really a pretty decent price for those and definitely something I'm really looking forward to having in stock. 
Again, I really love the San Pellegrino, um, both the Arenciata and the Arenciata Rosa. Um, and then lastly, I started stocking up just a little bit on um, Halloween candy. I picked up two big bags of Dum Dum Suckers here, 125 uh, pack for $4.99 each. And then a big bag of Twix candy bars for $5.99. So I just thought I'd start setting those aside. I probably need to make a trip out to uh, Walmart or go to my local Buy Mart and stock up for Halloween candy. But I was happy to get started on that. And I was also really happy with all of the wonderful grocery choices uh, that Grocery Outla had today. So the grand total for today's purchase was $171.68. I did pay a fee for bottle deposits as well as grocery bags. Here in Oregon, we pay a, a extra for that. And also my husband did buy a um, coffee uh, Coca-Cola drink and he really loves those as well. So that is our uh, purchase at Grocery Outlet and now I'll go ahead and share with you our October meal plan. Okay so here is my October meal plan and just a quick update before I get started on my meal plan. I have a lot of videos filmed, some different grocery hauls. I just posted my Azure Standard, uh, my first Azure Standard haul. That will go up before this Today is actually the 6th of October, so we're already into the meal plan a bit. I'm going to try to get this edited and up for tomorrow just so that we can kind of stay on track. And then I'll get some of the other videos and recipes that I have filmed, um, edited and posted as well. So just to keep you posted on that, I have some fun videos coming up. Hopefully I can get those all edited and posted um, as soon as possible. Okay, so our October meal plan. So the weather has finally turned here, so I've been able to make a lot of crock pot recipes and things like that. I'm excited for the fall season here. Um, okay, so February 1st, we did have some strip steaks, the New York strip steaks that you saw in the hall with the mashed potatoes. We actually ended up having those with green beans. Then the next night we had dinner out at a local um, hamburger shop here in town. It was delicious. Sunday the 3rd, we had pierogies, the ones you also saw in the hall, for family dinner night, the potato and onion ones with chicken strips and some rainbow cauliflower that I found. It was really beautiful. It was, um, I believe, green and purple and yellow. It was very interesting and it tasted wonderful. So then Monday, I made a big pot of split pea soup using my thick as fog recipe that I have posted. I'll try to remember to leave that link in the description box below. Tuesday the 5th, we had chicken with pinto beans and rice bowls. My husband picked up a chicken, a rotisserie chicken from Costco when he was there to grab dog food. So I'm, I'm gonna use that for the next couple of days. So tonight we'll be having chicken enchiladas with that chicken. And I will turn my pinto beans into homemade refried beans and the rice. I'm going to season that with some of the Mexican spices and have that be sort of like a Mexican rice to go with our enchiladas. And then tomorrow, Thursday the 7th, I will be using the chicken bones to make a bone broth tonight. And then tomorrow, I will turn that into chicken noodle soup with orzo. Friday night, we'll have leftovers. And then Saturday the 9th, I'll be making a chicken and pineapple skillet meal over rice from the More With Less cookbook. It's a cookbook I've been using for over 20 years now. It's a wonderful, lots of simple recipes in that. It's basically just uh, some chicken sauteed with pineapples and peppers and onions and things like that, served over rice. Sunday the 10th, we'll have lasagna with bread and broccoli, and I'll be making up some molasses cookies. Monday the 11th, we'll have breakfast for dinner. Tuesday the 12th, we'll have salmon patties with baked yams. Wednesday the 13th, we'll have sausages with stuffing and acorn squash. I bake my acorn squash in half, filled with a little butter and brown sugar. It's absolutely delicious. Thursday the 14th, we'll have chicken with herb gnocchi and veggies and baked apples. Friday the 15th, we'll have leftovers and appetizers. Sometimes on leftover nights, I include appetizers. We always have a few appetizers in the freezer, just in case our leftovers aren't quite enough. Um, and if our leftovers are plenty, then we save those appetizers for another day. Then on Saturday the 16th, we'll have orange chicken and rice with veggies. 
On Wednesday the 17th, we'll have stuffed bell peppers with breadsticks and pum- and some sort of a pumpkin dessert. On Monday the 18th, we'll have a fall patchwork casserole. On Tuesday the 19th, I'll be making a multi-bean chili with cornbread. Then the next night, I will turn that chili into a chili and cornbread bake. On Thursday the 21st, we'll have breakfast for dinner, probably buckwheat pancakes. On Friday the 22nd, we'll have turkey veggie rice bowls. On Saturday the 23rd, we'll have dinner out. On Sunday the 24th, we'll have turkey and stuffing casserole with yams and either a Dutch apple cake or some other apple-themed dessert. On Monday the 25th, we'll have a goulash, uh, the sort of the retro casserole, not a real goulash, but what we used to call goulash back in the 80s. It was a casserole my mother always used to make, so I thought I'd make that. And Tuesday the 26th, vegetable beef soup with homemade bread. And then on Wednesday the 27th, we'll have leftover soup with bread. And then on the 28th, we'll have lemon chicken and rice. On the 29th, we'll have a tri-tip roast dinner. The 30th, we'll have leftovers. And then Sunday the 31st is Halloween. I always serve layered nachos and a whole variety of homemade appetizers. So and uh, all the yummy treats that we have on Halloween. So that is my meal plan for the month of October. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my meal plan and grocery haul. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.